Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Blue Nose Trading. Today I'm going to be mixing this black mason stain into my red terracotta clay so that I can have some black terracotta to work with on an upcoming project. I'm going to wedge the mason stain into my clay, get my safety equipment on. So let's get to it. I've got my area set up here and to start out I'm going to weigh out three pounds of my red terracotta clay. I'm using some clay that I've already thrown on the wheel because it has a lot of extra moisture and I read that this is going to dry out the clay. So I'm using Best Black 6600 I think. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and aim for 3%. Well I aim for 3% mason stain to my three pounds of clay at first I read you could use anywhere from like 3 to 10 percent on average and that for darker colors like black you didn't need to use as much so we start out with the 3 percent I'm gonna just put it on my clay and then start wedging it in and make sure that you're wearing your respirator mask because as I was wedging this in a lot of it was floop flying everywhere and you don't want to breathe this in so on this part here I tried to just kind of put some on the board and wedge it onto it and it created much more floof flying than before of powder so probably don't do it that way. As I was told and as I guessed wedging it into the clay dried it out super fast. I wasn't sure if the stain was going to cause like staining on my on my plaster slab so I wedged on a piece of hardy backer and man kudos to all of you that like wedging on hardy backer this stuff dries out my clay so fast and I had some sticking issues somewhere near the middle I ended up starting to spray water into the clay as I was going to wedge it in and it just kind of made a sticky mess and the clay was getting so stiff that it was hurting my wrist to wedge it in this way I do not think this is the ideal way to add mason stain to clay, but it was pretty fast. But I had to fight with the moisture a lot, so it was drying out, making it stiff, making it harder to wedge, making it crumbly. The more I wedged and the more mason stain I added, the drier it got, so I did have to do a lot to counteract and compensate that. It took a lot of wedging and a lot of time. I turned this up to 10 times speed so that we don't have to watch all of it, but yes, it took a long time. And I ended up, after wedging in the 3%, decided that I wasn't sure if that was quite dark enough for what I was trying to do, and I went ahead and took it up to 6% of mason stain. So I wedged in another additional 3% for a total of 6%, and that's the result right here. So there is another way to do this. I got my reclaim bucket and I got my Ryobi drill and with the paint attachment and I just basically mixed it all up until I had a nice thick slip and then I'm going to pour that slip in, measure it out here into my pitcher. I think I ended up going with about two liters of slip and then I just took this one. I mixed it up to the 3% first so measured it out for the 3% and then just poured all the mason stain into the slip mixture. Used the drill attachment to mix it all up. Lots of fun here. Ended up taking it to 6% as well. Now this one might end up being a little bit darker because I did 6% into the slip and a lot of this water is going to evaporate off which might make it a little more concentrated. So after I had all the mason stain mixed into the slip, which by the way did not hurt my wrists, wasn't that difficult, I just laid it out on my plaster reclaim slab and it's going to take a little bit longer because now it's going to have to you know, dry just like any other kind of reclaim clay. If you need to know how to make one of these slabs or how to reclaim clay, I've got videos for that and I will link them up above and below. So I did set aside some of this slip in a little jar because I am going to be using this clay for sculpting and I want to have some slip so that I can use it for slipping and scoring and gluing and who knows this might be helpful. Not even sure how black it's going to be but I did pull some to the side before I let it all dry out. So it's been 24 hours about and I'm just rolling this up now and working it out. Um, it's still really sticky. It's too wet for using just yet, but 
Now I've got both here. So the first one here that's a little more dry is the one that I wedged in and I actually let it soak with some water overnight because it was a little too dry and then the other one that I use the mixing attachment to blend into slip and then lay out on a slab is still a little too wet. I would say both of these methods work but for me personally I'm going to be mixing it into slip pretty much every time because I don't really think it's worth the effort on my wrists and the time and my shoulders to wedge the mason stain into the clay. I would rather just mix it into slip and wait. So I'm not even sure how black this is going to be. It looks like a dark chocolate brown right now so we will just have to see. This is experimental for me. I'm going to be moving forward this, with this project in my next few videos, so uh, if you want to see that, you can subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to see weekly art videos, you know, subscribing to this channel, I post a video every Friday at 5.30 Central Time. And if you'd like to support my channel and my artwork and get early access to all my videos and as well as exclusive content, you can find me on Patreon at patreon.com slash bluenosetrading, and I will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.